Hey, what's going on, Lanteans? Cody here, and I'm here to teach you guys all about space. Yes, I love space, I love planets, I love everything to do with it, and we are back in the classroom after that pretty heroic battle um, from Mr. Snappy and Mrs. Lily. They performed valiantly along with Hello, the Joe Buzz. Okay. Along with the right. Joe Buzz! Okay. Joe, yeah. Joe, Joe, you did good, man. Everybody did good, and everybody will get their chance to fight in a battle one day. Especially the Atlantean of the day, Mr. Lewis11445. Congrats, bro, you have an am amazing skin. It's pretty sick. Look at that. It's very colorful. Uh, Beautiful. Dude, yes. um, Iron Man told me I could keep this. Where did you get that? You don't have the full suit, right? No, 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 just the, just the face. Can I see Does this suit me? Can I, what, what mark is it? Uh, 10. 10? Ooh. Yeah. Only the best for his chicken friend, he said. I guess so, man. Mr. Iron Man, he's pretty much a rock star. It was a great time meeting him and a great time saving him, Joe. Um, but today, I think what we're going to do, Atlanteans, is uh, we're going to learn about space and rocket ships. Because you're not always going to be fighting stuff in the overworld. Yeah, that there is S, uh, there's like aliens. What's the other word? Like extra... Terrestrial. Extraterrestrial. I was gonna, yeah, I did. I'm the, I'm the teacher and I should be uh, learning these words better. Um, but yeah, essentially, we're gonna be fighting people in other worlds, and you guys need to know how to get to those other worlds and other planets. And uh, we have to just take a look at our lesson plan for today. Joe, no sneaking and peeking at this lesson plan. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't look. Through the moon. Hmm, okay. So I think I want to ask the Atlantean of the day, Snappy Doo. And Dirt Maverick and Joe Buzz, this question. Oh, no. If you could fly anywhere, where would you go? Oh, okay. It's not a, it's not a pop quiz. It's just a opinion thing. Oof. Okay. Let's ask the Atlantean. Mr. Atlantean. Oh, he got an Atlantis! Whoa! Dude, he's a true Atlantean. Look at that, Joe. He must have seen our Atlantean parody and just got blown away of how epic Atlantis is. Um, wow. <laughs> Congrats on the amazing answer, man. That was great. Now, let's ask the Snappy. Uh, I hope it's going to be Atlantis. Pluto. Oh, God. I'm a little, little far off, Joe. <laughs> a little far off. Um, that's Pluto is not a planet. It's, it is. It was. It we was. It was a planet. And uh, just technicalities, technicalities. Mr. Dirt Maverick. Where would you go? The sun <laughs> might not be the best place to fly, bro. <laughs> A for effort. A for effort. <laughs> I get her. I get her. Joe. Uh, you? Uranus. Food. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Delicious. Oh my gosh. Too much, Joe. Too much. Now there's a the next part in our lesson plan that everybody seems to love. And it's kind of, it's kind of uh, informative. So, to fly to the space, space atmosphere, you need to have yourself a spaceship who can break through that atmosphere and has enough jet fuel to get there. And guys, there's three different tiers to do with the rockets. So this one over here is the tier one rocket. This one can be used to uh, make yourself a space station or it can be used to head to the moon. Uh, right here, the tier two one, a bit more expensive, a bit more uh, jet fuel as well. And uh, that one can actually go to Mars and do everything the tier one can, can do. And this bad boy can go to Mars and beyond. It's so cool. Um, it's, it's kind of cartoonish. I love it. It's really cool. It can go to, I think there's like five planets out right now and we'll show you guys how to unlock them in future episodes if you guys want um now i think this one is just the cargo one there's nothing to it really you can launch it send supplies um i don't know the extent of how far it can go but i would assume it could definitely go to the moon um hopefully the mars too because uh you can store a lot of different stuff and just send it up you know sometimes you want to move your base all the way to 
the uh, planets and it's gonna be hard because you only have your inventory and maybe a backpack if you have that mod installed but uh, over here is a fuel loader now you gotta fuel these bad boys and you also have to craft them you can make yourself an amazing crafting bench right here and this thing is called the NASA workbench so it's pretty much your hub for making all the vehicles to do with the Galactic Craft space mod so I want to make myself a tier 1 rocket so you can look up the a recipe and not enough items by pressing R and you got some pretty heavy duty plates here. Joe, do you know what heavy duty is? Heavy duty? Built uh, to last. Elephant poo. Get it. Heavy duty. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. That was a good one, Joe. Let me just get my gun in the back. <laughs> no, no, please. I don't, no. Where's my gun supplies? I got some rockets. I don't we don't have any guns. The janitor took them away. I'm gonna go speak to the principal about the, the not having the gun situation. No, please, I'm sorry. Come over here, Joe. You can take a look at the recipes with me. So you need some heavy duty plates, and uh, these are gonna be pretty easy to craft. Now they are compressed, and the ingredients in the heavy duty plate takes compressed bronze, aluminum, and steel. So to pretty much get one of those compressed plates, you need to have a compressor and you need some fuel and you put the two ingots and you can start pounding it and getting that plate and then you can use them all together to make yourself the heavy duty plate it's almost done boom shakalaka so that's created and Joe if you want to come in here you can you can help me with the recipe so what's the other thing that you would have to have for the tier one rocket tier one you need a nose cone Oh, you do need that nose cone. That nose cone's pretty easy to craft, just three heavy duty and a redstone. Um, you need four rocket fins. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And also a engine, of course. The engine is really important. You need oxygen vents, which is just again compressed ingots, and then you got yourself the tin canister. Which is just tin. <laughs> so it's relatively easy stuff, and uh, you can make that one without having schematics or any other knowledge of uh, NASA. You just need to have not enough items. <laughs> Rocket science is easy, right guys? Yep. This, is, this is how it's done. Now if you want to be able to craft the tier 2, the tier 3, and the cargo plane, or the cargo rocket, you need to have the schematics, which are found in dungeons from the moon and Mars um, dimensions. So let's put those in there and you can unlock it so you can make yourself the tier 2. Pretty sweet stuff, but it makes you uh, unable to make the tier 3. Or actually, no, you can just hit the next and back. Okay, that's cool. I was a little bit worried. You just, if you just keep hitting next, you go to the different pages, and you can unlock the tier three. And, uh, Joe, what does a rocket ship take? Ah! Oh, God, oil! Joe, get out of the oil! That's not good! I can't get out! Oh, I God! Can't get out. Oh, God, you need you need to be rinsed off. You need to be rinsed off. Let me get a bucket of water. I got the water, Joe! Just don't open your Where eyes! You? Don't open your eyes! Where are you? Where are oh, you? Oh, covered in oil! Come here, come here, come here, come here! Oh, okay, just stand oh, over here. Oh, stand oh, over here. We don't have a shower. Huh. What? <laughs> okay. I don't I, want everyone to see me. Stand against the wall. Stand against the wall. Okay. Water, 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 water. Yes. Oh, I'm clean. Wash it off. Oh, dude, good. Perfect. Okay. Uh, oh. Your eyes okay? Yeah. I, I, oh, no. There's a third one. I'm growing a third one. What? Nah, just play. Third eye? Oh, God. <laughs> well, I... Just don't tell the janitor about what happened, Joe. Oh, well, or the principal, headmaster, or your mom. She knows. And, and nobody can speak of this. All right. Well, anyways, nothing. there is an oil chamber here, which you can find randomly in your world in Minecraft. And uh, what what does it take for a uh, a rocket to go, Joe? Fuel. Fuel. Jet fuel. And we need a lot of it. So you need to make yourself a refinery machine, and you need to have yourself some empty canisters, and also a portal portable oil extractor. So you can right click on these oil farms you find and it fills fills up your thing to the top to the top. To oh god, I, I, I thought I fell in, but it was already empty. Um Can you break some ladders for me, Joe, and just drop them down oh, in here? Yep, I can do that. Um, yep. here's a uh the, what be Yep. Hello yep. in there. Yep. You just oh there you go. There you go. Whoopsie. Uh, I don't know if it'll work on the glass, but you can try put Oh it does. Oh, it does. Cool. Cool. I need one more Joe. No. <laughs> I can taste freedom. Uh, freedom tastes good. Okay. Did you get it? Yeah, I got it. Right. Yeah. All right. Uh, so you need to get yourself some oil. And you put the oil over here in this section. Uh, you also need a battery, which can power him, or a different source of uh, charging him up. So you got to wait till the energy's going and uh, flowing. And you need to put the oil 
in here and it drains it all out and then you hit refine and then it goes over into the fuel canister. Now the GUIs aren't showing that it has energy or oil, but it does, so don't worry about that. And the fuel's going up, going up, going up, and then you can take it out and you can go over here to one of these bad boys and uh, you just put it in here. Uh, you also need the, a battery. And as you can see, this thing would have fuel in it and you'd be good to go. Hey, Joe. Wait, no, Joe, 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 Joe get out. You can't do that. You said it didn't think it had fuel in it. I, I, I gotta call the, I gotta call the janitor. What do I do? What do I do? Joe, 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 get out! I, I, I don't. You spilling? You, you need to get out, Joe. Oh god, the carpet's everywhere. You might, you might break the. I'm getting janitor. I'm going to the moon. Help! I'm taking off. Joe, no! Oh my god. Okay, you're good. Well, Joe, you're setting everybody on fire. Joe, ow, ow! Everybody's on fire. The water. I knew the water would come in handy. Jake, I'm saving you. Don't worry, man. Oh my gosh, Joe! Just land it, land it. Yo, it's gonna, I'm not in it anymore. I'm it's gonna run. It. It's I not. It's gonna run out of fuel soon. <laughs> oh my god! This is a disaster. Help them, Joe. Help the students. Dude, you see where I am? I'm above you. I'm in the classroom above. I don't see you, Joe. I think the, I'm on Mars. The rocket's going, Joe. Is this Mars? Oh, it's a zombie. <laughs> Get on, Lloyd. Me lucky chums. Oh no. I think everybody's gonna be okay. I, I can do this. I can do this. I can save the day from Atlantis. I got it, Joe! I saved it! I you saved died. everybody! So did I. Where, where did we... Oh, we're in, the, we're in the training facility, Joe. Who are these guys? Aliens! We're on They're Mars. aliens! The barbed wire got uh, broken. Um, I don't know where we are. Well, I think we'll pick up next episode, guys. And uh, we'll learn more about the rockets. And we'll maybe head to a planet. Tell us what your favorite planet is. Mars or Moon? Which one?